Hello everyone. Today for Brussels Developer User Group, I'm going to record a small video about working with Python. This is a, a beginner video, so don't expect anything advanced. If you are a advanced user Python, you can skip this one. If you're new, feel free to keep watching. So when you have a natural machine learning studio, the first thing you need to create is a compute instance. A compute instance, as you saw on the previous meetup video, uh, is just a, a VM with some cores, some RAM, and that's basically it. For the purpose of this video, I, di I, I did it already. I created a, a playground compute instance. And then I click on Jupyter to open to open the Jupyter notebooks. And here we are going to fill some missing values with a very basic uh, Python script. So first, the first thing you need to do is to install pandas. Uh, the syntax for that is uh, pip install pandas. Uh, normally, that's installed by by default in some environments. Then we need to import pandas and numpy, and we can use some uh, alias uh, so that we can later use uh, the alias, like in the line below. PD. Then we create a pandas data frame with the following line, and in the pandas data frame, we are going to add some numbers and some nodes as well. As you can see, we have now a table with some. Uh, rows, uh, some with information, some with not numbers. Then we need to check if some data is null or not. So right now we have three uh, empty rows and they are of type integer. Then we can drop off those uh, rows and then we got only the non-empty rows. But we can also fill uh, the empty rows with data. How? So with fill NA and a parameter, we can use zero, for example, and then we have zeros on the empty rows. Uh, we can also use a method called backward fills. So that means that the rows will be filled with the uh, with the next value. So then the next value was seven, so the previous one were, were filled with seven. Or we can use forward forward fill, which is basically the same, but starting from the first one, from the from the previous one, I mean. So three, and now you got three filling. However, that doesn't make any sense. That's not real data, real valuable data. Maybe we can use the mean. So for that, we use the same method, fill NA, but uh, in parentheses, we use the mean uh, function from the numbers array, right? And that's going to be 3.25 in the missing empty. Last and not this, maybe we can interpolate the data. So instead of doing that uh, with the mean, or with zeros or the backward field or the forward field, you can use interpolate. And then we got field data. We can use this technique for uh, uh, as many columns as we want, not only uh, numbers, but also categorical values. And that's basically it. Uh, I hope you find this video informative and see you in the next lesson. Thank you.